Hey guys, it's Aaron. Um, I gotta say, sometimes I'm kind of bummed that I'm not newer to SketchUp. And what I mean by that is, one of the cool things about being new to something is when you learn a tip or a trick, it's, it's, it's cool, it's new. I mean, it's fun to learn new stuff. Uh, when you've been using something for a while, it starts, to, it starts to be less and less often that you get that feeling. Um, so it's really cool to come across something that is one of those things where I'm like, I think I remember hearing about this, but I hadn't really ever used it. Um, so that happened. Somebody introduced me to the stretch command inside of SketchUp. It's not April 1st. This is an actual command. This is actually part of SketchUp. You can use a modifier key on push-pull to perform a stretch rather than pushing a face. Let me hop in and show you exactly how that works right now. Okay, I have a cube here, and just to, to recap, so if I go into the push-pull command, what push-pull will do is pull that surface, any surface you click on, normal to that surface. What normal means is just at 90 degrees to the face, it's just gonna pull straight out. So this is pretty simple with a box that's sitting here like this, but if I grab this, and uh, let's see, I'll rotate it a couple degrees this way, I will rotate a couple degrees this way, Okay, so now this box isn't aligned with the axes at all, but if I push pull, it still pulls the face normal. This is, I mean, so we, we all know this. We don't necessarily think about it, but we all know how, how that push pull command works. So that's awesome, but uh, let's say here, I'm gonna make a copy of this real quick right here so we can maintain the original as, as we play with this command. So this works, but what if I grab this right here and I scale it. So I'm gonna grab this face, I'm gonna shrink it down. All right, so now if I push pull, again, everybody will probably pick up on this, they'll know this. When I push pull, it looks like a new surface, right? Because it is. It's pulling this exact footprint normal to the face straight out. So you have a transition from this angled face into this now straight face normal to that surface. What if that's not what you want? What if you wanna bring this out without starting a new surface. So if I hold down the stretch modifier key, this is command on Mac, alt on Windows, and pull this, look what happens. It's push pulling, kind of, but rather than creating a new surface, it's actually stretching out the pieces that are connected to it. So it's still moving normal to the face, despite the face that, the, again, the face does not match any of the axes, and it's pulling it in that direction and stretching out the connected pieces. It's kind of like if you were to go in and use move and inference a face that was on the same plane as the face you're starting to move, if that makes sense. That was, a, that was messy. So it's a very nice modifier key in certain situations. And I came up with a couple situations I wanna show you right here. All right, so this is similar to a model I have actually built. <laughs> I have modeled something similar to this. Um, so this maybe is a little keypad or something like that. The, the face is angled up to make it more approachable, you know, design stuff. But with the keys, rather than just have raised rectangles, I want them to taper like a keyboard key does. So what I can do here is if I was to grab move and I was to move this up vertical, obviously I don't get a symmetrical key. I get this, this slope right here is different from this slope. Um, I can, again, I can try to inference, I did this by accident before, I can try to inference the, the, this face right here that I'm already on and try to bring it up. Oh, there was, see it flicker right there? So if I can find that, there we go, then I could actually bring it up along that. Okay, so it's, you can see it's, it's trickier. There it is. So that would get me that look that I'm looking for. It's symmetrically rising up. But the other thing I now know I can do is grab push pull, hover over this, hold down the command key on Mac, alt key on Windows, and just pull that up. And here's the cool part, just like push pull, if I hold down command and double click, it's gonna pull each of these up the exact same amount. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, last time I did that, I actually made this a component and then went in and reset the axis so it was perpendicular and then did a move perpendicular to the axis and that, that sort of thing, but uh, I can do it there too. It also has some interesting effects on hidden geometry. So uh, we know push-pull works 
and, and same with this stretch command works on full faces. So I can use it on any of these full faces. Just like with regular push pull, if I move over a curved surface, that being surface, multiple surfaces hidden, you know, merged together, it doesn't work. I'm going to turn on my hidden geometry real quick and watch this. This is kind of cool. If I hover over here again, hold down the stretch modifier key, command or alt, and I grab this and I pull this way. Look what it does. It pulls that whole surface perpendicular to this face and stretches the connecting pieces. So if I come over here, double click this, I just stretched that whole thing up and deformed my cartoony looking hammer here. Same thing on the bottom, I come in here, hold down the stretch modifier key, push this up, double click here. So there's some interesting options as far as distorting geometry using push-pull in ways that I had never thought to use them before. So I know, like I said, this was this is mostly something I got excited about because it's not something I'd used before. I'm interested to hear if you knew about the stretch key and if you have, how have you implemented it in the past? Like I said, it's very similar to what you could do with move if you can lock yourself to a surface parallel to the face you're actually moving. Um, but if you can't, like if it's a, a surface by itself, it's kind of a nice option to be able to, to, to just, just pull it straight up. So if you have used stretch before, let me know how you've used stretched. Um, if you haven't used seen this, let me know some use cases you think you could use it on. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you like this video? Do you not like that command so much? Is there a different thing you would like us to look into? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.